All right, YouTubers, this is Old Army Guy here. One Old Army Guy, I should say. Um, I saw a video this morning on YouTube about spam, and apparently the the kid, and I'm going to say kid, uh, didn't like it, has never had it before, um, didn't know really, uh, I guess from the sound of it in this two-minute video, they didn't know what he was doing with it. But uh, what I've got here is your normal can, normal can of, sp of spam. Uh, I've eaten it before via the MRE and the ham slice. What I'm going to show you here is I got two eggs, a can of spam, and some potatoes, a hot frying pan. And I'm just going to make a quick and easy nutritious breakfast using spam. And uh, see how it tastes. I mean, what's the point of having all the survival food if we don't know how to cook with it and we can't, uh, don't like the way it tastes? I mean, yes, it'll keep you alive, but. Uh, I think you need to have a few skills before we go out and get it before it actually hits the fan and we know what we're doing. So I'm going to take a little break here, <clears throat> get it all in the frying pan and show you what it's looking like. Okay, what I've done here, is I've got two ham slices, spam slices I guess I should say, and the potatoes. Well I'm going to get the potatoes straight into the frying pan here. As you can see it is smoking hot right now. So I'm going to get them in, brown them up a little bit. Now I am using an old cast iron frying pan here. And uh, I do say old, this was my great grandmother's. It's well over, uh, well over 100 years old. And uh, it's going to brown up the potatoes a little bit. Now, I know everybody out there knows how to cook, but the question is, are you going to be able to cook when you don't have gas on your stove, or if you don't have the means uh, to have an electric stove in your house? Uh, the nice thing about a cast iron frying pan is I can take it and I can put it out on my grill and I can still do this. Uh, or if I need to, I can build a fire pit and I can still do it. Um, it's one of the reasons why I really wanted this. And I, I've kind of fought with my mother to get it because she didn't want to give it up, but, uh, you know, being that she is a, a single elderly woman now, she doesn't really use it anymore, and uh, she still has two smaller ones. I was able to get two, two from her. I got this one and a smaller one, but, uh, you know, just to be able to practice with cooking with it and know how, to, how, know how it heats, um, I think it makes a world of difference. So I'm going to brown these up. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit here get these going. Alright, so here we are. We got it on the table. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like a uh, meal you probably get in a truck stop somewhere. Uh, you got your fried potatoes that were just left over from the night before. Fried up. A couple eggs. Now, I also realize that, you know, in the hit the fan scenario, if you don't have your own chickens, you might not have access to fresh eggs. So I, I realize that uh, this could be a, uh, a point that goes away. Uh, my plan, and it is a plan right now, is that uh, the, the next house we will have uh, a chicken or chickens and our own, uh, a little more like a, of a, a hobby farm. But uh, right now, I live in an urban environment. I don't have any chickens, so I am forced to buy uh, store-bought eggs. But uh, I have had chickens before. I have had uh, some farm experience. Um, raised my own chickens uh, from a chick. I'm going to go out and get the eggs. Uh, so I'm, I'm familiar with the, with the process of what, what needs to be done there. But uh, as I mentioned before, we got hot sauces. Uh, my children, I'm fortunate, they, they do love it. So. I'm going to go ahead and take a piece here of the Spam and try that and uh, you know, not too bad and it's got uh, still a little salty which makes sense but uh, cause it is a, but it's good and I can see in a pinch uh, putting that in with some some beans or some rice frying it up and throwing it in there. Could be pretty tasty. Maybe making a uh, Spam chili. Maybe I'll do that in my next, uh, my next adventure instead of uh, using venison. Maybe I'll do a, try it with a can of Spam. So, 
for now, one old army guy, and uh, eat what you eat what you prepare. You know, if you don't know how to if you don't know how to prepare it in the sense of what you've got in your food store, don't know what how to cook it up, how to eat it, what to do with it, doesn't do you any good. So uh, for now, signing off.